Rust is annoying because it ruins the appearance and performance of metal objects, leading to them being abandoned. Of course, the cause is humidity and salt. Iron gets very rusty very rapidly. Let's try it. Here is some steel wool made of pure iron. We immerse the steel wool in salt water in a vat. In just one night, it gets rusty and the iron is eluded. In reality, we can prevent rusting with household materials. Do you know how? We'll show you. Here are two pieces of steel wool. We've used a trick on the left one. We immerse both of them in salt water for one night. Let's watch the process in Fast Forward. The right one turns brown while the left one remains rust-free. There's a clear difference. Do you have any idea why? The answer is found on the reverse side. Aluminum foil has been attached to the steel wool on the left. This is a video from yesterday, showing how we attached the foil to the steel wool. For further investigation, we immerse some steel wool and a piece of aluminum foil in salt water separately, but connected by a wire. In one night, the iron remains unrusted, while some white bubbles have appeared over the foil, and its underside has darkened. The aluminum has, in a way, been sacrificed to preserve the iron. This technique is called sacrificial protection. Why has only the aluminum rusted? Let's insert a motor between the iron and the aluminum and immerse them in salt water. The motor begins rotating. This is because electricity is flowing between the two metals. We're observing the current flow that results in the rusting of the aluminum. Can you imagine the relationship between rust and electricity? Iron tends to lose electrons to oxygen in the water. Iron atoms that lost electrons become ionized, dissolve in the water, and react with water and oxygen to form red rust. Aluminum loses electrons more easily than iron. When we connect the iron and the aluminum with a metal wire, the aluminum is preferentially ionized and some of its electrons dissolve into the water, while the remaining electrons flow to the iron. Then, due to the enhanced electron potential, the iron can't release electrons and remains unrusted. Instead of using aluminum, if we supply electrons to the iron directly, rusting should be prevented. Let's use an electric power supply. Here is some steel wool and a carbon plate to be used as an electrode. We connect the cathode to the carbon plate and the anode to the steel wool. Then we immerse both in salt water. After switching the power on, electrons are transferred to the iron. Let's watch in fast forward. The iron remains unrusted. This is completely different from what would ordinarily happen. To keep iron from rusting, you have to prevent it from losing electrons. Sacrificial protection is also used in ocean-going ships. Zinc plates are installed on steel hulls because zinc ionizes more easily than iron. Thus, the zinc is sacrificed to preserve the steel hulls. The basic properties of metals are utilized to keep ships safe.